Sure, you know that Steve Martin's house in Father of the Bride is stunning. But is it the best movie house he's ever had? Actually, no. These are the top 10 houses Steve Martin's characters have ever lived in, ranked from worst to best. Number 10, Cheaper by the Dozen 2. Number 10 goes to Steve's character Tom Baker in Cheaper by the Dozen 2. Sure, his house isn't nearly as nice as the Murtaugh's next door, but if you give it the Chip and Joanna Gaines treatment, this thing is a total fixer-upper. Just imagine the shiplap in this lakeside home. Number 9, Parenthood. The number 9 spot goes to the house in Parenthood. Steve Martin's character lives in a big blue house with white trim and amazing lakefront views. The kitchen is spacious and the backyard is perfect for parties. Still, even with all that room to run around, the interior is a bit on the boring side. Number 8, Shop Girl. In Shop Girl, Steve Martin plays a single wealthy businessman named Ray Porter, and his bachelor pad is to die for. From the incredible terrace where you can see Claire Danes' character's apartment to the super sleek kitchen that he never uses, everything was luxury to the max. Still, even though it's a gorgeous apartment, it's missing all the space and perks of a house, so it checks in at number eight. Number seven, LA Story. In LA Story, Harris K. Telemacher, AKA Steve Martin, lives in a Mediterranean style home. While the exterior of the house is pretty damn sweet, the interior is, well, just all right. Harris isn't the most organized, but he does have a pretty great plan. Number six, All of Me. The Cutwater Estate in All of Me, which is actually the Greystone Mansion, is insane. In the movie, Steve Martin, who plays Roger Cobb, accidentally has his body taken over by Edwina Cutwater. Edwina lived in the mansion, and Roger becomes Edwina, so he also kind of lives in the mansion. Anyway, all you need to know is that the mansion has 55 rooms and looks like someplace you'd find Megan and Harry living. Number five, bringing down the house. In bringing down the house, Steve Martin's character, Pete Sanderson, lives in a classic Los Angeles house with a sick backyard and a great pool. And with a nicely sized kitchen complete with white cabinets and a butcher block countertop, it's clear as to why this house is number five on our list. Number four, house sitter. Steve Martin's house and house sitter deserves to be number four on this list for multiple reasons. For starters, his character Newton Davis built the dream home himself. More importantly, it's located on the lake, has a wraparound front porch, and has some pretty sick views. The little yellow house isn't so little either. I mean, hello, look at that great room. I totally live here, but unfortunately the house was a standing set in Concord, Massachusetts and was torn down after filming ended. Number three, father of the bride. Coming in at number three is the home in Father of the Bride. Steve Martin's character, George Banks, lives in the dream home. The large white colonial with its green door and oversized front yard tree is as good as it gets. Well, almost, because there's still two houses that are even better. Number two, planes, trains, and automobiles. And now, the extremely underrated home in planes, trains, and automobiles. You might be quick to forget this because Steve's character, Neil, doesn't spend much time there, but there's a reason he's trying so hard to make it home for Thanksgiving. The house is stunning. The brick home is a classic colonial with six bedrooms and is actually located in Kenilworth, Illinois. It sold for 1.4 million in 2009. Number one, cheaper by the dozen. The best Steve Martin house of all time is so obviously his character's house in Cheaper by the Dozen. Tom Baker's house is a whopping 12,000 square foot Victorian home that is 11 bedrooms and sold for over 6 million in 2016. And while the interior of this house wasn't used in the movie, the set was pretty sick. The kitchen pantry is insane and I mean that grand staircase with a much more spacious feel than the father of the bride house. I'm sorry, but there's no competition.